What up, what up, y'all? What up, guys? On this live, y'all with me? Where all my movers at? Where all my power move makers at? Jumping into this live real quick. Just get some blessings and spread some love and motivation. It's hump day. It's Wednesday, y'all. The night before Thanksgiving. <clears throat> Don't tell me y'all taking the night off. Not the night. If you a mover, let me see you in the comments real quick. Oh, Lady Logistics here. What up, y'all? Eddie Lolo in the building. What up? For all my movers out there. I see Lady Logistics. I see y'all. Who that? Tristan? See y'all waving at me real quick. But this is what we do. Every Monday, every Wednesday. We spread love. This is going to be each one teach one. This is a community we building, y'all. This is bigger than Sean Prez. It's bigger than any one of us individually. We going to learn from each other. We going to inspire each other. We going to encourage each other. And all of us is going to see each other at the top. It don't make no sense for one of us to be rich, one of us to be getting it. And the rest of us is looking like, yo, I thought you was my man or I thought you was my girl. Because I truly believe in my heart and soul. You can give somebody money. You can get, what's that old saying? Give a man a fish, he eat for a night. But if you teaching a fish, he eat for a lifetime. So if any of y'all know somebody who's looking for some, who's looking for knowledge and looking to learn how to fish, they need to be here. Monday and Wednesday night. Monday night, I'll probably go on some real motivational rant. But on Wednesday nights, this is where we all going to join in and we're going to encourage each other and we're going to just put topics out and just learn from one another. You know what I'm saying? Who else is in this building? I see Dave in the building. What up? What up? Oh, look. I see somebody say happy Thanksgiving from Vermont. You know, um, bear with me. I see professional in the building. Professional, what up? We're going to get started in a second. We're going to allow people to just jump in this live. <clears throat> but again, if y'all ain't following me on YouTube, I do some incredible interviews with incredible people. I see Lady Logistics in the building. Mentioned them early. I got an incredible interview. If any of you guys are into um, trucking or freight brokering, please go to Power Move Prez or Lady Logistics and, and you can learn straight from the horse's mouth. They out there killing it. It's ladies doing their thing. Go learn from them. I try to interview as many highly successful uh, corporate execs, CEOs, entrepreneurs as humanly possible. I try to extract as much information as I humanly possibly can and give it back to y'all. I'm not asking for y'all for nothing. I'm giving it back because it is our obligation to one another to, to teach each other once we have learned. So that's what we're going to keep doing. Who else is in the building real quick? I see who's that? Oh, warrior mentality in the building. Yo, go check out that warrior mentality gear. Craziest gift. Matter of fact, I got a warrior mentality shirt on right now. Well, I can't even show it under this thing, but it's under here somewhere. I got a warrior mentality shirt on and I keep it close to me because that's the, that's the spirit I'm in. I'm, I'm like, yo, I'm at that warrior mentality. See that? Y'all see that logo right there? That's that warrior mentality. Go check out my man's gear. He's killing it out there. I love what he's doing. And, and this is the way we supposed to be. We supposed to support one another. And the reason I keep that shirt close is because you obviously it's not on the outside, but it's, it's, it's close to me because that's the spirit I'm in. I'm, I'm like, like, I have to have that warrior mentality. So for anybody out there who trying to get it, keep something close to you that is going to motivate you. If you look in my wallet right now, I carry one dollar bill, one dollar bill only. But on that $1 bill, I done drew about nine zeros after it. That's a $100 million. That is to remind me I have not hit my goal yet. The only U.S. currency in my wallet is a dollar bill that I done drew about nine zeros. I think it's nine zeros next to it. But it is to remind me you have not hit your goal. Keep working. Stay focused. And tonight I want to talk about... um. You know, the struggles of starting a business. And then I'm going to open it up to the floor. So, number one, if y'all do not follow me on YouTube already, please go ahead over to YouTube. It's Power Move Makers. Power Move Makers, follow me on YouTube. If you know anybody, anybody out there who's trying to get ahead in life, who is trying to do something better with their life, 
Tell them to come on to this IG Live once a week. I mean, twice a week on Mondays at 7 p.m. and Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Wednesdays is more of an open discussion. I set it off and then I'm going to invite people into the conversation because I truly believe I don't have all the answers. I don't. But as a community, we can get all of the knowledge, all of the game right here in one place. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to encourage each other. So I think, it, you know, me, I'm a serial entrepreneur. I'm a person who has started multiple businesses. Some has been complete flops and others have been extremely successful. But I always at least take a gamble and I try, I, I try to bet on me. So there's a lot of people out there who are, you know, they can teach you and, and we'll get to that. Like, I was trying to think, like, what should tonight's topic be? Like, what, what should I even be focusing on? And I can teach y'all systematically how to set up a business from start to finish. I can teach you how to go from zero to six figures, um, six figures to seven figures. Can't teach you how to get to eight figures yet because I ain't go there that far yet. But I can teach you. But first, it starts with a mindset. Like, like so... If you are a person who are, is thinking about starting a business right now, if you're thinking, even if it's, it's if, if it's somewhere, you know, in your mindset or you are working at a job and you're, you you want to move, maybe you don't even want to be an entrepreneur, but you're just trying to move up, it starts with a mindset. That's where it starts. You have to first see yourself as successful, you have to see us. I can do this, and I can talk to y'all because I have been here several times, and even doing what I'm doing right now. Right? I remember when I was just having the brainstorm of of I should be I should be encouraging people. I should be going out there and and, and talking to people and being a motivational speaker and, and and teaching people education. But I doubted myself crazy, and this is after I created a successful marketing agency. It's after I created the Global Spin Awards. It's after I created New York DJ Con, and still I, I doubted myself. So that fear for anybody who's out there, I'm just trying to validate. If you are are, are living in fear right now, if you are saying to yourself like, "I don't know if I can do it," well, guess what? That feeling never, ever, ever goes away. It doesn't because I can tell you it took. I've been I've been doing what I'm doing now for about a year. I just this is my third or fourth live I've done. It has taken me a year to work up the courage to even get on live. So I'm telling you, if you have those types of feelings, it's 100 percent normal. It is normal. I have I have done successful things and I still get scared every time I start a new venture and. You have to keep people around you who are going to encourage you, people who are going to remind you you can do it. And, you know, I see my man Eddie Lopez in, in the live um, earlier. I hope he's still around here. But this is a guy who, when I was doubting even doing this part, like, yo, I don't know if, you know, why would anybody want to hear from me? What can I possibly tell somebody? Like, why me? And, and it's him who, like, listen, dick, like, look at all the stuff that you've done who better for them to learn from you talk like them you come from the same place as them and you have done things and you have the social proof so why wouldn't they you they can relate to you and it was those types of seeds that people like eddie and and and, and different people were putting in my head that gave me the courage so i would say number one fear is natural and it's never ever going to go away. Do not think one day you're going to hit it out the park. You're going to create this successful business. And then all of a sudden you're going to try something new and you're not going to be scared. Trust me when I tell you it never goes away. And number two, it is important. It is very, very important for you to keep people around you, not dick riders, not people who are going to tell you what you want to hear, but people who know you, who love you, people who will give you like, like the raw unfiltered truth whether you want to hear it or not because they always have your best interest at heart and if they are telling you like yo you can do this then nine out of ten you can do it like you can do it another thing that and these are just things i have run into and, and, and again these are struggles of starting a business we are going to have more technical conversations but i truly believe it is the mindset it is it we you got to first get this right before you can before you can move up in a company, before you can go out there and start on your own, if your mindset is not right, I promise you, you will fail. 
There are too many other obstacles in the way for you to deal with. And if you, you know, I don't care what you put out there to the world. You can show the world all this extra bravado and you can show them all this extra confidence. But when you get home and it's just you and them four walls, if you are secretly doubting yourself, if you are saying to yourself, I don't know, you know, this ain't going to be, um, it ain't going to work. Trust me when I tell you it is not going to work. Here's another thing that I think everybody should know. Like I was saying earlier, one of the reasons that, that my man Ed and so many other people who, who were rallying behind me to do what I'm doing right now, they said, because you, you, you're part of the culture. You the, like, like when you speak, it is, it is authentic. You don't have to speak the queen's English. And that's what I'm telling y'all, right? Because what I've come to, I'm from the South Bronx and I'm proud of it. Born poor, raised poor. But we learn different. And, and you have to understand people learn different. And myself, I was never the smartest student. I was never the person who was going to have straight A's. That just wasn't showing. But was I smart? Did, you know, for me, did it, was, was I quick with it? Did I get it? Yes, but I didn't learn the conventional way. It wasn't, you know, with, with, with traditional like textbooks and, and I can sit and I see people and I'm proud of people who can sit there and read book after book after book after book. That just ain't showing. I read books to this day, but most of them, I got my earphones on because I'm, I'm listening on Audible or something. I'm getting the knowledge, but you know, just because you don't learn like everybody else, I don't want you to doubt yourself. Look at it as number one, it's an obstacle that you have, you can overcome. But number two, it, 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 in some ways, it sets you apart from the competition. Like these, your differences, you have to turn into your strengths. And this is something that I need everybody to really sit and think to themselves about because I'm the furthest thing from corporate. Like I, it just ain't in me. I can't walk around in a corporate office and, 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 you know, walk with that tight butt walk and talk that tight, you know, corporate talk. But that's what makes me credible in doing what I do. Like when, 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 when Power Moves Marketing and Promotion, we are the king of alternative marketing tactics. We are the king of getting into the hood and taking corporate brand messages and translating it into a way that people in everyday society and everyday hoods that they can absorb in their language. But if I was to, you know, be some scholar or if I was this, this, you know, corporate me and nothing against people who are extra corporate. I'm just saying embrace who you are. Stop doubting who you are because you might be a little bit different. You don't learn on the same level that other people learn or the same way that other people learn. Look at it as a, you know, OK, that, that might be the norm, but that what other people would consider to be. A, a, a negative, I'm going to turn it into a positive because those same people who hire us to and, and hire us for a lot of money to take their corporate messages and bring them into the hood in a way that the that that the hood can digest it and, and it doesn't feel like it is it is contrived and it feels very organic to the language that we speak. If 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 I had spoken the Queen's English, I can translate that properly. So Take what other people would consider a negative and you make it into your positive and you make it work for you. So again, like I said, this is going to be an ongoing conversation because there's so many areas I'm trying to cover. But these before you can think about starting a business, right? This got to be right. This got to be right. Because there are major struggles in starting a business. There are major struggles in moving up that corporate ladder or moving up the ladder within whatever company you work at. But if you don't believe, if you don't see it, that that is something that you not 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 the next person, because we can all look in at somebody else's grass and be like, yo, they grass is way greener than mine. If you don't believe in you, trust me when I tell you it ain't going to happen for you. So with that said, I want to let some people into this conversation because like I said, I truly in my heart believe what, what, what we're building here, 
All of you movers out there, all of y'all, this is y'all's platform. It ain't showing presence. I'm just, I'm just opening it up. But we gonna learn. I'm gonna learn from y'all, and y'all gonna learn from me. So if you got a story of overcoming adversities and and really moving up in your company or getting out there and starting your business, like like really jump in this thing right quick. Let me see who's waiting to get in. Uh. Who we got here? Who we got on the line real quick? Jay Wiley, what up? What up, man? I'm up there listening to you. I love what's going on. Yo, Jay, man, yo, well, welcome to the Power Move Make a Minute, man. We call it the Power Move Make a Minute, but it's feeling like the Power Move Make an Hour. But this is just what we're trying to encourage one another and open it up to a community. So thanks so much for jumping in this conversation. I know you're a fellow entrepreneur like me. So for anybody out there who doesn't know you and is thinking about starting on your own, do you have a story that you can encourage them and uh, how you've overcome adversity and really got your business off the ground? Yeah, 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 definitely. I mean, I think all of us do, right? It's a, uh, well, I'm the, uh, a partner at uh, This Is Dope. Uh, you can follow us at thisisdope.net. Um, we are a marketing and PR firm based in Brooklyn, but we do stuff all across the country. Uh, been around for six years now, even through COVID, still going strong. So, you know, very proud of that. I think I think one of the things that people always are, are saying is like how do you how are you able to to keep a business going when things aren't right right i think that's the that's the biggest thing that people have to always look for is like yo things aren't going right so how do you keep a business going and and the thing that i've learned and that we do is we stay true to our principles right and i think you talked about this earlier what makes you special and what makes your business work is that you're not the corporate dude. You going into the hood, you bringing brands to the hood, you stay true to who you are, right? You're not changing it up because things have changed. You stay true to who you are, who your company is, and what makes it flow. And that's the same thing that I think any entrepreneur has to do, right? They have to stay true to who they are and what their company is, right? Just because all of a sudden, I don't know, like all of a sudden something becomes trendy. You can't sit there and change your business to be trendy because it'll never work. That's not who you are, right? Like if you're not the trendy, the trendy dude who's always got new, the new stuff or new things, then all of a sudden something becomes trendy and you try to make that change. Like, oh, we're going to do the trendy thing. You're going to fail. And, and time after time, businesses have shown you that, that they stay true to who they are. They always go through even the rough patches and they stay and keep doing what they do. Right. You don't see. Yeah. Apple is not trying to make um, burgers like they're not opening up a restaurant. Right. Like Apple ain't a restaurant like they fast food is 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 big, is is growing, is like they're not trying to be a fast food chain because it just doesn't make sense for them. They trying to stay true to who they are. So we stay true to who we are, no matter what we got going on, you know, no matter what's happening, we are very much focused on like colleges. We are the, the company that puts in the work that's going to create from your vision. We're going to put things together. We're going to do national tours. Like we are not sitting here and going to, going to revamp our business because times have changed. We're going to stay true. Like now we've been doing a lot of online uh, conferences and seminars that's been focused on like education through uh, the college system or um, doing things for uh, young entrepreneurs, like you said, or um, people who are looking to, to, to further their careers and, and touch like that's the things we were doing as an experiential company. And that's what we're going to be doing on the virtual side, but we're not, we're not switching who we are. We're just using new tools to continue to do what we do. Right. It's not, it's not a switch of just because we doing things virtually rather than in person, it's just using tools to continue with our brand. So you know, I think that's an important part that people got to always remember is the tools are to continue your brand and your philosophy, not to change who you are. So, 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 Jason, um, my man, Big Breeze down in um, Houston, he, he said 
he does believe you have to evolve your principles and your tactics. How do you feel about just just evolution? Because I get sticking to who you are, but you know, is it important to 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 evolve your tactics and your principles as time moves on? So evolution and change, in my opinion, are two different things, right? Like um, evolution, if if our company, like I said, we're now doing virtual things because of COVID. That's an evolvement of who we are. But you know who our focus is? It's still college students. It's still young. It's still Gen Z. It's still entrepreneurs. It's still the same thing. So our our customers, our brands that come to us, they're not coming to us to say, hey, we want you to get the uh, top 10 influencers from the world to do something. That's not what our company does. Like we're not gonna get worldwide influencers to do stuff. That ain't gone. That's not what we do. But they're like, yo, we need to really reach the Gen Z population. We need to really reach college students. Can we do that? And we say, yes, we can, because there are these virtual ways that we can do it. Here's what we're going to do now in COVID, even though they're not on campuses, right? That's an evolution. A change would be if I was to come to you and say, oh, Prez, you should hire us because now we we know how to um, get athletes to get involved with your campaign. That's not really what we, if you really looking to get athletes involved with your campaigns, that's not really our company, right? Like, so all of a sudden that would be a change. But in doing that, that means I have to change the kind of circles I'm in, what I'm doing, how I'm building my company. I got to think differently. I got to do all these things. And that's not staying true to our principles. We want to create a, a, a vibrant business that focuses on this audience. We want to ensure that we're always, um, um, operating with a, a social good component to our business as well, where all, those things will never change. That's core. That's a part of our core principles. But evolution is not a change to your business. It is understanding that with time, you have to use new tools. And those tools are to be used to keep to your principles and your brand model, right? The thing that people um, don't realize is that your mission and vision statement, right? You should always set that up as an entrepreneur in the very beginning, and it should be something that you always stick to because your mission and your vision, it really is not something that um, should change throughout the course of time. It is something that is a part of your core principles. Like if you go back, Apple still has the same mission statement that they've had for the time that they've been founded. Facebook does too. And those mission statements are set to set the principles and the foundation for your business and your company. So every employee that comes and works with you, every every client that you has, they come to you because they understand who you are in your business, right? They're not coming to you because they 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 want you to figure out your business while you're working with them. They want to know this is the company we go to when we need X, Y, and Z done. And so that's who you set up and you be. Now, if people sometimes, and this is where failure comes in, is that people sometimes think because something has become trendy that they should change and be a part of that trend. And when you change and be a part of that trend, when the next trend comes, you will fail because you are not sticking true to any principle or core value. You are just changing with the wind and the wind changes a lot. So if you allow, if you allow yourself to be a part of that wind, you can never survive because and, and no one's going to ever recognize who you are. Right. Think about McDonald's. McDonald's is a burger chain. Right. Even though they add other things to their menu, their biggest thing is the Big Mac. The thing that they worked with, with Jay Balvin, with with um, with uh, Travis, all Scott. These, Travis Scott, all these artists are burger meals. Right. They didn't come in and say, hey, can you make us um, have some rap like Chipotle? Like, no, they are a burger company, even though they add stuff to the menu, their core value, their core focus is burger and fries. And that's how they become the company that they are. Like, they're not going to change. They're not going to all of a sudden you're going to walk in McDonald's and be like, can I get a burger? And they're like, no, we don't serve burgers anymore. Like, that's just crazy. That's who they are. So you got to stay true to your values. You can evolve, but don't change your company. Yeah, Jay, thanks for jumping in, man. Like, like you, you just dropped some some crazy advice. And, uh, you know, I got a couple of people who are waving, trying to get in the conversation. Where can people Definitely. find you at, Jay? Yo, you can find me. Follow New Dopeness, N-E-W-D-O-P-N-E. 
E S S new dopeness uh or you can go to our website this is dope.net you can always reach out we here yeah jay i appreciate the words man I, I would love to have you back when we're doing these uh every wednesdays this is an open kind of kind of community thing so i love the fact that you jumped in um uh, for anybody else who's trying to jump into this conversation we talk about the struggles of of starting a business and different trials and obstacles that you face how you've overcome them and just dropping gems for anybody out there who needs to hear these he, hear these little gems while they're trying to get their business off the ground jay thanks yeah. stay stay around for the conversation i appreciate you brother um, i'm here my man yo i see i see a couple of people just jumped in the conversation dakota what up i see you over there kid Thanks for jumping in the conversation. Let me see who else is trying to get in. Uh, yo, let's see. Let's see who's out there. See who we got real quick. If y'all got a question for any of the entrepreneurs or myself, please ask your question. If there's if there's any questions, I'm looking at the comments. Please ask your questions and I'll do my best to answer them. Who we got here? Hey, Mike, Press. what up? Hey, Press, how you doing? I'm good. I'm good, kid. Yeah, man. I'm just checking. Listen, I love everything that you're doing. and Some of the things that you said tonight that stuck out to me, you was talking about that fear. You know, that fear is what holds a lot of people back from achieving the goals and they, you know, they true being, you know. Um, I have a little story myself if you, you know, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but. But hold uh, on, yo, Mike, before, Mike, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Just, just introduce yourself to the audience. Let them know who you are. Let them know about your company. Yes, my name is Mike Smith, uh, CEO of Warrior Mentality, a new upcoming athletic uh brand uh that we've been putting in a lot of a lot of time and a lot of work to it and looking for great things to happen okay okay go ahead so 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 so, so talk to us as, as a as a upstart business like what are some of the challenges obstacles that you face well one of the things is you know when you look at uh instagram you look at facebook today it's so flooded everyone has a brand out there. Everyone is coming up with a clothing line. So you sitting back thinking to yourself, listen, what am I doing? You know, like, you know, is this going to go anywhere? You know, should I just throw in the towel? You know, and, you know, like you said, you know, everybody wants to be an entrepreneur these days, you know. You know, everybody make this thing look sweet. This is not my first business. You know, my first love is the security business. I've been in executive protection line of business for about 20 years plus. So, you know, this is not my first rodeo. So I know the ups and downs to these things. But, you know, uh, what, what I wanted to ask you is I wanted your advice is what can I do to make my brand stand out from so many of these different brands that's out there right now? Okay, this is an easy one because, number one, I know your 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 clothing line. Like I said, as we speak, I'm wearing this Warrior Mentality shirt and I've been kind of wearing it out, so it's time for me to put my new order in. Um, but Thank when you. I think, and this is the marketing side of Sean Prez, when okay. I think of warrior mentality, uh, you got to come different than Nike. You got to come different than Under Armour. You got to come different than any of those other brands that are currently out there in that space. And for, for me, when I think of warrior mentality, I think grassroots. I, and, and I hate to say it like this, but I think of of like the bartenders and and, and, and niggas working out in the yard, like like. And I'm when I say the yard, I'm talking mm -hmm. about the prison yard. Yeah. I'm talking about people who are on the playgrounds. You know, they 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 not necessarily in the gym mm -hmm. throwing up all the weights. Yeah. They doing those calisthenics and, and it, you know, they rocking with, with, with no shirt on and they, they greasy and sweaty, but they, they getting that work in. Uh -huh. You have to market, you know, the beautiful thing about your brand is it's a mindset. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, it's warrior mentality. Mm -hmm. So you have to tap into the psyche of people who are, are, are and, and it goes beyond. We're just talking about athletic wear, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't. I don't have nothing to do with you know trying to to 
be some bodybuilder or be like, I wear it because I need that, that mindset. I got, I got to stay ahead of my competition. Mm -hmm. But for me, it is very, very grassroots. If, if I saw a warrior mentality ad and it was super shiny and mm -hmm. super, um, extra polished and well-produced, I'm saying to myself, like, nah, he got it wrong. Mm -hmm. Your stuff has got to be gritty. It's got to be done on an iPhone. It's got to be done on 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 um, camera phones to where people are, are capturing themselves hard at work. Like, you know, the warrior mentality, when you think of a warrior, the, 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 the Spartan warriors were in a pit somewhere. Yeah. Like, they wasn't in the octagon. They wasn't mm -hmm. in cages. They, I mean, they wasn't in uh, in the rings. They were in pits, and it was mm -hmm. dirty, and they was fighting to the death. That is the way you have to position your warrior mentality brand so that it feels grassroots. It feels gritty. It feels like, yo, I am getting this money by any means necessary. Like, I'm out here. I don't care if I don't have the 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 you know, the backing and, you know, how people go out there and they're, they're, they're doing um, these different phases of raising capital. Your yeah. stuff is, is I'm getting it by any means necessary. So I would really have people, you know, on, on their cell phones, taking pictures of them doing, you know, phenomenal things on them pull-up bars and, mm -hmm. and, and sit-ups and, you know, women just going hard, like at home now that it's COVID, they, it, you know, people can't really go to the gym no more. Well, now people are are, are on their living room floor and they, and they, basement and they, and they still getting that work in. Mm -hmm. You got to capture that and then put warrior mentality. That That's mm -hmm. how you should go with your marketing. Got you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, so so hold on. I see my man Eddie Lola. Would you say Ed say set up Spartan races? Hold up. Yo, my man Eddie Lopez. He's got a he's got a good um piece of I advice. Yeah, it. when the Spartan races start again, you should you should sponsor a team. Like mm. you should start, like get 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 all of the people with the warrior mentality into the Spartan race. Gotcha. All types of things you got to really hit from a grassroots level. Gotcha. And just show that mentality. I see you wearing the hat right now. For yes, anybody sir. watching, like number one, put that hat closer to the camera, and tell them where can they find your your gear at. You can find it at thewarriormentality.com, and you can follow me on Instagram at underscore warrior mentality. Dope, dope. Yo, Mike, thanks for checking in. No I, I, Thank I you. saw a couple of people trying to get into the conversation, so I want to let like one or two more in the conversation before we close out. All right. My man, anybody, y'all got any questions for me? Let me know. I'm reading the comments now. Let me see. We definitely need warrior mentality right now through this COVID. Who said that? I'm sorry, you guys. I'm, I'm trying to read these comments. But for if you got questions, let me know. Anybody trying to get into this um, conversation? Anybody trying to get into this conversation before we close out? Just make yourself known. Where we at? Where we at? All right. I don't see nobody trying to get into this thing, but hopefully we covered a, a, a little bit of ground. And like I said, we're going we gonna to keep this conversation going. I saw my man Richie D in here. Where's Rich at? I saw him in here somewhere. Rich, if you're still in the, in the, in the area, jump in this thing real quick. All right, for everybody else, please, again, like like one of the things that we all got to get over is this fear. We got to, th th this fear is the killer. And I say this all the time, fear will kill your dreams faster than a bullet. You have to get over this fear. And I'll tell y'all the story before we close out if nobody else is trying to check in. For me, <laughs> I fell on my face more times than I can count. Like, like more times than I can count. I have put my nuts out there, looked retarded. But whenever I have a dream, whenever I have something that I'm trying to do, and I know it's a good idea, there 
is no success unless you put your balls and for women unless you unless let me try to let me try to say it nicely unless you are willing to put yourself out there and take a public l there's no success success is on the other side of putting yourself out there it's on the other side the other side of 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 really just putting yourself in in the most embarrassing positions and sometimes it works out and sometimes it don't yo larry 21 grams i see you kid for anybody yo, you gotta check this is most phenomenal group out there 21 grams my man larry i just see you on the check-in but you gotta be willing to put yourself out there you have to be willing to 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 take that leap of faith i can't tell you when we started global spin awards quick story we started Global Spin Awards, first Global Spin Awards. We rented the, the New York Times Theater on 42nd Street. Theater held about 350, 400 people. 150 people showed up. I cannot tell you how embarrassing I was because everything that could go wrong went wrong that night. I looked nuts. It was, in my opinion, one of the biggest public disasters ever. But because I took the chance, those 150 people that showed up, they didn't see the mistakes. I saw them. Like, it was me who saw them. It was me and my team. We were sitting there pissed off with ourselves, but everybody saw the potential. So where we saw the mistakes, they saw the potential. And they told us, keep going. Y'all got something here. And, and, and then it blew up to become the Grammys for the DJs. So you got to bet on yourself. And trust me when I tell you, when you do, you're going to find people just like them 150 people who showed up. Those was our supporters. Those was the people who put the battery in our back to do it again. But if it wasn't for them, I would have tapped out because I would have said to myself like, yo, like I can't take another embarrassing night like this, but it was worth it. Hold on. Let me see who else is in this conversation. Uh, Richie D. Richie D, what up? Sean, what up, what up, what up, Sean? What's up, press? Yo, what up, kid? Rich Dollars, what up, boy? Hey, shit, slow motion. Same old, same old. I'm listening. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Huh? I'm listening to the good Wednesday night word. Now nah, we, we we trying to we trying to have this 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 community, Rich. What we doing? I mean, you know me. You know I'm a teacher. I'm an educator, and I, I, I'm a firm believer. It is, it is our duty. We can't wait on the next man. We can't wait on somebody else to give us what we can give ourselves. And what we can give ourselves is education. What we can give ourselves is gems. What we can give ourselves is advice. So, you know, I know you've been listening in on the conversation. Can you kind of just talk about your beginnings and how you really got to where you at? Because I have watched you you know, get some of the highest of the highs. And I've also seen you the day after Monday nights when you are at your lowest of your lows. But still in all, you keep going and you are the longest surviving cast member on one of the biggest shows in our community, Loving Hip Hop New York. So can you just talk to us for a second and encourage anybody out there who's listening? Oh, no, absolutely. Absolutely. I think I think first and foremost, I listen to Jason and then I listen to your man from the um from the warrior. But I'm, I'm feeling like the most important thing in this whole process is self-confidence. And being able to understand failure. Failure for you is not failure for everybody. Failure for you, like you just said, like I just heard you say, like when we when we first started global, it was like, oh, shit. And it was. I remember going back to the office that night and you spazzing out that same night of that award. We went back to 1440 and you <laughs> spazzed. And I remember that like it was yesterday. But then when I was walking around and I would talk to Ron Stu or Rap or all these other people within the community, they was like, yo, y'all on to something. And I was like, you can fool me because Prez just lit <laughs> us up. You know what I'm saying? They don't understand, like people don't understand that you have to put your neck out there. And there has to be something that there has to be something to be said about a person who's going to go out there and win, because that's that's what I, all that's one of the 
one of the things I took from you in coming up under you at Bad Boy was that we're winners. It don't matter. It don't matter. The final result is the W. How you achieve that W, that's, that's how you achieve it as a person. But the end result has to be the W. And in order for you to get a win, you have to play the game. You have to do what you need to do to put yourself out there. Self-confidence is extremely important. You have to be able mm -hmm. to know that if you put your mind to this and you focus on this, this is something that can be accomplished. This is something that you can do. Like, even when, like there's a reason why we were about substance. Like a lot of people were about the jewels or the cars or the this or the that or the loud or this. We were about substance. When Richie Dollars went in the club, he had his backpack and it was what it was. You know why? Because I'm a winner and all I want to do is win. I'm not here to play games. I'm not here to do anything. I'm not here to show off. I'm not here. I'm here to do a job. And when I walk in this club, I need that record play. That's, that's, my, that's all I cared about. And it translated from bad boy to moving on to TV. Because at the end of the day, I got to do what I got to do to be on this show for 10 years. I got to do what I got to do to succeed. And it doesn't matter what anybody else around me says. Because I'm all about the W. You got to get to that point where you don't care about what people are saying about your journey. Because your journey is your journey. Your race is your race. I'm not in it to race with you. I'm not in it to race with nobody. I'm not in it to, to, to try to get to a place where I'm getting accolades or people are looking at me. Because if it's not about substance, then it ain't about nothing. And if you're right. walking in the club and you 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 drinking and you popping bottles and you hanging out with the DJs, but these niggas not playing your records, what's your motivation? What's your motivation? Right. If you on TV every night and you so worried about what Tuesday morning brings, then how are you gonna succeed on Monday night? There you, you go. So much time trying to figure out how I can look good for people who ain't going to care because the most important thing for them is success. They might tear you up in the interim, but at the end of the day, everybody acknowledges success. That's all it's about. So when you on this TV show and you're like, oh man, I can't do this. And I, me and you had this conversation a hundred times and I'm going to say it to everybody who's on here now. In order to succeed, you got to be able to do things that other people won't do. You got to be, and that's what your man was, you got to get in the trenches. It goes back down to the PMI. It goes back down to the marketing campaign, the strategies. It, this, this, it's not just the marketing campaign. It's, it's a mindset. The mindset has to be being able to do things that people won't do for your success. That's how you win. Doesn't matter if you score, if you got the baggy shorts with the Jordans and the wristbands and everything, if you're scoring five points a game. That doesn't matter. If you come out here with Chuck Taylors and some corduroys and you giving niggas 50, you know what? They're going to acknowledge that, Sean. That's so, right. That's right. On the show, I love the gems you dropping, Rich. Preach, kid. So we, we, but these are conversations that me and you have on the phone all the time. So it's like, all the I'm time. Just talking, it's like me right now. I'm just still talking to you. Like, I'm venting again. Like, when you call me, like, no, oh, God. You dropping so much gems, and I love the fact, and for anybody who's listening, please, like, like I hope what he's saying is not going over your head. You oh, can, God. you can, uh, uh, okay, I'll talk about us in particular, because you and me is one of the same in this way. You ain't never seen me walk around with gold chains. You ain't never seen me walk around with platinum chains, rings on my finger. You never seen me looked apart because that that wasn't to, that that's the fluff and for any of y'all out there who 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 is starting this journey or you are the, you know we get it perception is reality mm -hmm. but truth is the work the work wins the race the work so you can spend all your time focusing on all of the things that make you look successful and all of the things that you think successful people 
do and are supposed to look like. But if you are not willing to jump out the window, risk falling flat on your face, taking a chance, betting on you, doing the thing like Rich just said, that's the difference between successful people and people who are not successful people. People who are successful are willing to do the things that other people are not. When other people say, I have to go to sleep because I'm tired, the successful person says, no. I know I've been up for 23 hours, but I got more work to do. It's just what it is. If, if you are, and you know, Rich, we both come from the music industry. And I can't tell you how many people I have seen who are no longer around and they played the part so well. They was out there spending money they didn't have. They was popping bottles they shouldn't be popping. They wearing chains and driving fancy cars, all of that. And then it came back to what you just said. It was no substance. And they and and, and, and it was grand opening, grand closing. <laughs> it's as simple as that. So Word. do what others are not willing to do. Put in the work because there's no substitute for that. It is no substitute. And if there's anything that y'all got out of what this man just said, <laughs> I've I've watched him on TV, and and I love the here's here's, here's what we can say, Rich. And I give you your your, your your compliment and your flowers while you can smell them. For one, I'm proud of you. Number two, I love you. And number three, I have to tell you, you Rich, <laughs> I've seen quote unquote superstars get on that show. I've seen. People get on that show and think that they was outsmarting everybody, but you're the only one who lasted. How many seasons you got in now? Uh, Twelve. But you're doing something right. Twelve. Twelve seasons. You have watched people come. You have watched people go. But you are willing to do what others are not willing to do to get the W. And 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 that is admirable. That that really, really is, man. I hope that you take time out. And, I, and for one, I'm glad and thanks for, you for jumping into this whole conversation. Of course. Of course. You know, and, and really just trying to educate. And again, for anybody who's jumping in who 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 are not familiar with what we're doing over here, this is every Wednesday night. We're doing a, a whole power move make a where each one teach one, successful people jumping in and answering questions from, from anybody who's out there. So if you have questions. Please go ahead, you know, type them in. We'll answer as many as we possibly can. But this is a community we're building of other movers. I, I only want movers on this channel. If you out there making moves, this is for you, kid. But now, nah, Rich, like, like, like them gems you dropped is priceless, brother. Nah, it's the real talk. It's, 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 it's where we came from, man. And I appreciate everything you said. And it, it's... It's about how you brought us up, bro. That's all I can say. And if and if any if any if anybody wants to take anything from anything that how I move, it's because I learned. Like I learned from you. Like even though you probably at times was like, yo, this nigga don't listen. I listen to everything. Is a but there's always a time that you have to it registers. You know what I mean? And I remember having those conversations with you where you was like, yo, Playboy, you running around these fucking streets, you A, B, C, and D. Is that what it's really about? First, go do what you need to do to ensure that you can come back here tomorrow with a job. Go there you do go. that. And then after you do that, I'll cover up all the other dumb shit you do. Because I know if anything, at the end of the day, I know that this man's going to come in here and work his ass off, and we were always about substance. I can do the same thing. You, we can go. We can run through 50 dudes that did the same thing that we was doing. And we, we, our goal was not to be better than you. Our goal was not to be as good as you. Our goal was to for you to go to work tomorrow and your boss say, go home because them <laughs> niggas embarrassed you last night. That's a different mentality. Like, nigga, Hold up. Kobe that, 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 if my man Mike is still on, that's the warrior mentality. That right there is the warrior mentality. And people don't understand you. If you are going to win, you can't be trying to, you know, do as good as the competition. No. You can't be trying to, you know, just subtly outdo them. We wasn't comfortable 
unless the competition went into their office and their boss sent them home. You're fired. You're done. You, they, they, they destroyed you. That was our mentality. That was our mentality. And, and people don't understand, don't understand that. That's the real. They don't understand that. They don't understand that because everybody want to be chummy and everybody want to be friends. When people would call you and say, yo, get this kid away from me, bro. Get this kid away from me. I can't stand him. And you would come in and be like, yo, I guess you had a good night last night. So yeah, made all these niggas mad. But you know what? When it was time to work a record, who them niggas calling? They not finna call the dude that come in the booth and be their friend because when it's, when it's they thing on the line, they're gonna say, I want you to do what you was doing for bad boy. Do there that you for go. Me. Do you, there you go. Do listen, people. Listen. You know what I'm saying? And they might not appreciate it in that moment, but let them go out there and have their money on the line, their reputation on the line, their music on the line. They're going to put it in somebody's hands who they trust. And it's not going to be the dude who popped bottles with them in the club and, 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 and match watches and, and it was all fly and flossy. It's going to be the dude who came in with the Jansport backpack and, and made you play that record or almost fought you to play that record. And when you now, I'm going to tell you. That's how Rich, we were, man. You, you, you got to understand, like, like we, we, we talking about us. But, you know, peace in, 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 in RP to the late, great Kobe Bryant. He would, you know, I watched so much of his, his footage. And anytime you see him, he tell you. When people, I wasn't trying to be your, his teammates. I wasn't trying to be your friend. You knew what the expectations was when you signed that contract to come to L.A. Correct. But he was a winner. Michael Jordan, anybody seen that documentary? It's on Netflix now. Forget the name of it. The Last Dance. The Last Dance. Everybody hated him. But, but that's why. But he had a mentality of, of I'm not trying to be your friend. Even my teammates. There is an expectation I have of you because there's an expectation I have of myself. Exactly. And that is something that you guys, anybody who's ever worked for me, would say the same thing. There was an expectation I had of y'all because there was an expectation I had of myself. And if y'all wasn't willing to go where I was willing to go, you got to get off my team because yep. it was winners over here. So... I'm going to say one thing, and then, I, you know, I got a bunch of people trying to get in the conversation. Maybe I'll squeeze one more in. But I want to say something, that I, you know, to anybody who's listening, and, and because Rich is on the line, it's something I always used to tell him when, um, you know, we were, we were working together in the same office. I would tell Rich, you know, maybe you should you, – Rich, what was my golden rule to you that everybody should know, if, if you can even recall? I don't have a problem with you making a mistake but I do have a problem with you making the same mistake more than once. Simple as that. That's it. To anybody it. listening, jump out the window, take a chance, do what you got to do. You're going to take a L. You're going to fail. But the most precious commodity on planet Earth is time. Learn from that mistake. Learn from that L. And don't make it twice. That's it. Make it twice. That's it. As That's long it. as you do that, nobody can fault you for making a mistake. <laughs> Just yep. learn from it. You can get fired for fifth. I will not fire you for I will not fire you for doing the one the wrong thing, fifty different things wrong. I will fire you for doing the same thing wrong twice. There you go. So you can have a million mistakes. If you don't make them twice, you'll always have a job with me. That was what we yeah, used to do. That was what we used to do. Rich, thanks for jumping <laughs> in, kid. All right, thanks for the knowledge and the blessings, kid. Love you. Of course, and uh, love we you, bro. speak offline. All right, brother. All right, One. Real quick, y'all, for anybody who just jumping in may not be familiar with what we're doing over here. This is for all my movers. This is the power move maker hour. This is for we 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 are a community of power move makers. It is each one teach one. This is a village. It says it takes a village to raise um um a community to raise a kid. 
This is our village. We are going to teach each other. We're going to encourage each other. And we are going to, to educate one another. Every week, we're going to have different people jumping in. I'm going to take as many questions as I possibly can. Hopefully, I can help you all on your journey. Please go to my YouTube channel, Power Move Makers. I interview some of the most successful people on planet Earth every single week. So please jump on over to YouTube if you are interested in learning directly from people who have gone out there, who have made successes from themselves and started off at the bottom. That's what we do over here. Every Wednesday night, we are on um, 7 p.m. Power Move Maker Hour and 7 p.m. on Mondays. I'm going to take one more person jumping in the conversation before we log out. Let's see. Uh, Y'all got any questions? Go ahead and ask it. Young C, I see you, brother. Young C, I see you. What's going on now, bro? What up, what up? Who we got? My name's Ryan, man. Ryan, what up, brother? Just chilling, bro. Just chilling. I'm just, I'm down here in Canada, man. And I'm I'm wondering, like, man, like, it's hard. It's hard to make it anywhere down here. Okay. You got to be, you got to know someone or something to, to get anywhere down here. Like, where you guys are at in the U.S., man, I, 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 like, watching on YouTube and everything, I, I, I think it's, you know, you guys, you guys got to make where you're at. Um, number one, where at in Canada are you? I'm in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Okay, you're in Nova Scotia. Got you. Yeah. So, which, which, your, how'd you, how'd you even find out about what we doing over here? I was just, uh, I was just going along through my, uh, my feet here, and it popped up. Oh, beautiful, and I, beautiful. And I started, Make sure. I, I started listening to y'all, right? So, mm -hmm. y'all speaking some real facts. So, so what are you working on? Right now, man, I was doing some music for a little bit, but then I stopped because I I don't really have any platform or, you know, I, I don't have any anyone to show it to, really. Okay, so you t uh, how long ago did you stop? Man, it was a couple years ago now. Did, did, did you love it? Oh, yeah, I loved it. Loved That's bullcrap. That's bullcrap. You, you can't stop something you love. That that's number one. That's true. That's true. So 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 so, you know, I'm sorry to be the one to tell you, it, it, if you love it the way you say you love it, yeah, it, you can't stop it. So that's number one. Okay. But number okay. two, I want you to take out your head, and and I'm a straight shooter because if I don't give it to you real, it yeah. doesn't help you. Straight up. So I, so I, I appreciate that. I, I understand that that you know there are a lot more opportunities, especially in the world of music here in the U.S. Right? But the biggest rapper on planet Earth, is, or one of the biggest rappers on planet Earth, is from Canada. Yeah, I know. Like, I like, you know what so I'm saying that to say sometimes you got to do what you got to do, and you got to be willing to to get uncomfortable. And if okay. that means relocating, if you know, but the world is much smaller now. Yeah. So the same way I have access to the internet, you have access to the internet. So the same way I have access to streaming, you have access to streaming. Okay. But if you felt that that music is your life and this is just something you wanted to 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 really make it at, yeah, you have got to get comfortable being uncomfortable and you got to pack your bags up you got to save your money you got to get a plane ticket and it got to be one way brother okay. it got to be one way okay and you go to new york la atlanta any place in the u.s that you feel is is where you can make your mark yeah and you and the reason i say that ticket got to be one way because it cannot be an option for you to go back home until you are successful. Yeah. So sure. going back home unsuccessful is not an option. For sure. So so if I can leave you with anything, I want you to get out your head right this second that we got an upper hand on you because we're in the United States and you're in Canada. Okay. Because me being a person who's from the South Bronx. I could have that same excuse saying, yo, I was born 
dead ass poor. Yeah. I was born to a mother who had seven children and, 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 and no father around. Yeah. I can I can have the excuse that we was on welfare and, and getting food stamps and all that stuff. If that is what I allowed to be my crutch, then I wouldn't be sitting here trying to educate people like yourself. Yeah, man, it can be done, brother. It can be done. Respect, but number bro. one, I started this conversation off with mindset. You got to change your mindset. You have to. There is, what's stopping you right now is the fact that you don't believe. You believe your geographical location is what is preventing you from blowing up. And you know and what? That, that, that is that. too. That's, that's fact. That's fact right there, what you're saying. That is yeah. fact. Definitely. So I, re I really can... appreciate them words, bro. I really do. Nah, it's all good. That's what we supposed to do to one another. Like, like we gotta give each other the truth, and it gotta be, it got, it gotta be no, it can't be watered down. It's gotta be unfiltered. So, That's so, true. so, you know, for me, I would want somebody to give me the unfiltered truth, just like I gave it to you. But your geographical location is not an excuse for you not to be blowing. Now, if you told me, you know. Ten other things, like maybe I can hear that, but but yeah. geographically, like right well, now, are you healthy? It's not just a geographical thing, too. It's my cousin, too. My cousin, my cousin Tyler Porter. He just passed away not that long ago. He okay. Was, he was. He was with me when I was doing all my music, and when he moved, that's when when things kind of started falling apart. And then when he passed. I don't know. It kind of turned me back, back on to wanting to, to, to get back into things. Okay. You know what I mean? But it's just like, like I said, like with, with, with the Canada thing, that's, and then you telling me what you just told me. I got to well, get out what, that What's your cousin's me. name? Tyler. Well, here, here's what I would tell you. You said your cousin Tyler passed away? Yeah, man. Was he a big supporter of yours? Yeah. Just like I was a supporter of his. Okay. So what do you think, Tyler, your cousin, a huge supporter who is no longer here looking down on you, what do you think he would want you to do if he knew that the one thing that you loved was music? He would want me to keep pushing forward. Okay, there's your answer. Definitely. There's your answer, kid. Definitely. So I appreciate you checking in. Make sure you follow us and definitely go on over to YouTube. I, it's so much gems on that YouTube channel, Power Move Makers. So please subscribe to the yes, YouTube brother. channel. And every Monday and Wednesday right here, we're doing this and just having real talk and, and trying to give as much advice and encouragement as we can to, to people who are trying to make it, who are movers out there. All so right, cool. make sure you check in and, and keep your head up. You can do this. Is, trust me when I tell you, you can do this. Like, like, matter of fact, say it back to me. Say, say, I, say I got bro. this. I got this. I got this. Bro. There you go. You really do. I do. You really do. I'm not telling you a dream. You got this. For but sure, you got to put in the work. That's just it. I got to put in the work. I got to get on my, my head. Yeah, I told you. Change your mindset. Do it tonight. Maybe God needed us to have this conversation. That's just it, bro. That's just it. Definitely. All right. All right, brother. So make sure. So 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 follow me, and the next time I'm in Canada, Nova Scotia, I'm looking you up. Yes, bro. Yes. <laughs> All right. Peace and love. Respect. Love. respect. Yes, sir. What? All right. All right, y'all. We're going to check out. We've been on this thing for a minute. I hope y'all got something out of it. Do me a favor. Um, Please leave me a comment. If there's any any topics y'all want us to touch on next next week, Wednesday, please leave it in the comments. We're going to do this every Monday. Monday is more motivation. Wednesday is opening up to the community. For all my movers out there, I love y'all. Let's keep encouraging each other. Monday night, 7 p.m. Wednesday night, 7 p.m. It's Power Move Nation. All my movers, we're going to encourage each other, and we're going to see each other at the top. One love, y'all. We ending it.